Hope you guys have enjoyed the previous videos by learning in and out of collection framework. Now it's time to learn about another beautiful concepts and interesting topic in Java, which is multi-threading. I heard from many developers saying that multi-threading is one of the toughest topic in Java. The reason behind that is people think like, okay, it is developed by Oracle Java team where it is core level, the language level, and it is very difficult to understand the concepts, how it is actually working internally. So I have taken the toughest topic and split into multiple videos and want to go in and out of each concepts in multi-threading and I want to make you guys feel comfortable in terms of like before appear for any interview as well as coding and also I will go through with the real-time programming so you guys will understand where we really use multi-threading in our real-time programming in our client place. Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn about the most important concept in the enhancements of multi-threading which is nothing but concurrent package. We are going to learn about what is concurrent package and why do we need to use concurrent package and what is the real advantage of using this one in the real-time programming. Moreover, we are going to learn about what is the difference between using the traditional way of implementing the multi-threading with the help of synchronous keyword versus the concurrent package. So without any further delay, let's get started. So here we are going to talk about what is concurrent package. So the Java developers in the Oracle team, what they decided is they want to give us a package to the developers so that we can use this package in our programming so that we can utilize the enhancements of multi-threading. So what they did is they created a package called concurrent package. Concurrent is nothing but at the same time or simultaneous. That is a real time meaning of concurrent, right? So what they did is they put it in under java.util.concurrent. So this is the package name. Whenever someone asks what is the package that you guys can use it in your multi-threading, you can say concurrent package that is under java.util package. Okay guys, so this is the package which means like it has list of interfaces and classes which is already written by Oracle developers uh, so that like as a developer we can simply reuse it. So in our videos we are going to learn about how you are going to reuse or how we are going to utilize those functionality which is already developed by Oracle team so that we can make our life easy by implementing multi-threading in our coding. So this is what java.util.concurrent package. Now let's see why we need, why do we need to use concurrent package. So there is a biggest drawback by using synchronous keyword. There is nothing but performance will be little low, right? So because when you say synchronous, it means like at a time, a same resource can be accessed by only one thread, isn't it? So being said that, so the performance of the entire program will be reduced when you use synchronous. But if you use concurrent package, basically uh, it is kind of improvement or optimizing the performance of uh, the multi-threading that is where this concurrent package so uh, let, let us talk about like how it is actually improving it but why do we need to use concurrent packages nothing but in order to increase the performance of the system versus the traditional way of using synchronous keyword the second one is there is an option or there is a possibility that we will get some deadlock right so deadlock we call it as race condition as well so basically two objects or uh, two threads are waiting for for the locks right of the same object basically one thread is waiting to uh, release it and another thread is waiting to release it and uh, like end of the day like both the threads will be in deadlock condition it is not going to be get the lock forever right so that is something like we can uh, prevent it or by avoiding uh, by using concurrent package so this is the reason behind why do we need to use concurrent package so guys we are not uh, you know supposed to use synchronous keyword anymore in java because uh, if you guys use it so we are still following the traditional way of doing it but the, definitely the performance of the program will be little uh, lesser than by using concurrent package. So it's very, very important to understand what is the difference between using synchronous keyword versus concurrent package in Java. So that if anyone asks you in Java programming or any entry program, if they ask you to implement multi-threading, so don't directly go and write your program by using synchronous keyword. Rather, you guys can implement the concurrent package by going through the concept so that you guys can simply use it where it will like make your life easy by using concurrent package. So let me list out all the difference between using synchronous keyword versus the concurrent package here. So when I say synchronous keyword, so a thread has to wait to get it object lock. So it, by whenever you use synchronous keyword, it means that piece of code inside the synchronized, let's say is it inside the, in, at the method level or the block level. So that piece of code has to be executed by only one thread, right? Even if any thread wants to ex uh, you know, um, execute that piece of code, so that thread should have uh, objects lock, right? But in case of concurrent, so there is an option, basically, if the lock of an object exists, give it to the thread. 
else the thread will do some remaining operation or some different operation so here they are actually improving the performance by not waiting for a object's lock for a very long time okay guys this is the one first difference the second one is let's say you have let's say five threads are waiting to get the lock right and let's say the another thread let's say sixth thread is releasing a lock so the moment the sixth thread releases a lock so list of five you know there are like five waiting threads right so there is no guarantee that which thread or which waiting thread will get the lock that is not uh, you know possible if you use synchronous it's all about like the thread scheduler at the jvm level or the jvm level it is going to decide after of which waiting thread it is going to get the lock but in case of concurrent package you can have a fairness policy you can apply it being said that like you know you can define uh, you know if you define the fairness policy what it will do is let's say out of this five waiting thread which thread is actually waited for very long time that has to get the first uh, lock right so that has to get the lock first so that is a difference between using synchronous keyword versus the concurrent package the third one is in synchronous is just a keyword right so in java if you use keyword it is just to kind of you know reserve a value or refer some meaningful information right but in by using synchronous keyword you won't get to know how many threads are actually waiting to get the object's lock but in case of concurrent package when i say package it means it will have some methods and interfaces and classes right implemented classes so using that one you can get the rest of all the you know waiting threads for the particular uh, you know uh, object's lock okay so and moreover in synchronous if you use you can use at the method level or the block level when i say method level let's say you have a method called drive off you can use at the method level at the method uh, signature you can use synchronized otherwise you can say inside a method let's say you have a method called school off and inside that you have you want to write some programming where you want to apply some synchronized keyword so you can say inside a block right so basically synchronized keyword can be applied either at the method level or at the block level but in case of concurrent package you can uh, apply the synchronization concept basically across the methods so how it is possible let's say you have a method called drive off so when i say drive off you are not applying the synchronized at the method level it means like multiple threads can access this particular method right let's say you have like hundreds of lines of code and then you think like okay these hundreds lines of code can be accessed by multiple threads and then you have let's say four or five lines of code basically you think that okay these four lines of code has to be accessed by only one thread in that case what you can do is you can get the lock by using like l dot lock off and then you can do your operation and then basically as i said here so till this point of line right uh, so you can have multiple threads can access it after that only one thread will access right can i can i able to access it and you are calling like let's say method called school school off right so there is a call, method called school off so inside the school off till you are saying unlocking so you are releasing the lock right uh, lock of a key till the time only one thread will be accessed uh, one only one thread can able to access uh, the code of uh, execution and after that if you have let's again 100 piece 100 lines of code those like 100 lines of code can be executed by more than one thread so this is the beauty of like using um, uh, you know the efficient way of using synchronization or uh, multi threading uh, only for the place where you need the uh, synchronization but if you use at the block level or at the method level it will be across the method or or it will be the entire method or it will be on the entire uh, block but in case of uh, a concurrent package you can actually uh, transfer between the methods and also you can make it more efficiently by using like this by using lock off and unlock off methods there are multiple methods we are going to discuss in the next videos but you guys make sure that whenever someone wants you to implement the multi threading in your programming so don't directly go and write your program with synchronous keyword uh, that will think like okay it will be okay but actually in the real time programming that is not going to help in terms of performance wise so always think so the oracle developers has created a package called concurrent package basically you can use some methods and uh, you know i'm going to talk about what are the classes and interfaces we have and other concurrent package in the next upcoming videos so that you guys can learn about it and you guys can implement it in your programming so i hope you guys have understood this concurrent package which is very more powerful in terms of implementing the multi threading in your programming so if you guys have any question regarding this particular concept please post your comments in the comment section i'll be more than happy to assist thank you guys i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys